What is up, everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here today. We are on the drive home, and we better put our seatbelt on for our own protection. But this is the Monday Night Raw five-point preview, even though we're only going to talk about three things on WWE.com. Uh, number one thing is going to be the matchup, which is going to be the featured main event of the night. That is going to be set up by Commissioner Foley. He was upset with Seth Rollins. He had a big main event with a big stipulation on the line last week. If Roman Reigns beat Kevin Owens in a one-on-one -on -one match in the main event of Monday Night Raw, we would have had a three-way for the Universal Championship at the Clash of the Champions involving Seth Rollins, Kevin Owens, and Roman Reigns. But during this match, even though he was told specifically not to involve himself, Seth Rollins ran down trying to cause a disqualification where his odds would still be 50-50. A one-on-one -on -one match, very smart, but pissing off Commissioner Foley. I like calling him Commissioner Foley because I used to watch during the Attitude Era. I know that he's only GM Foley, but it's fun to link about the good old days. But Foley has stepped up to the plate, and honestly, what I thought he was going to do was going to make the Clash of Champions a fatal four-way, adding all four competitors that were involved in that main event, Roman Reigns, Kevin Owens, uh, Rusev, and... Uh, Whoever I forgot. I think I forgot Roman, maybe. Well, th those four guys would be involved in the Fatal 4-Way. As of right now, it looks like there's going to be two singles matches. But Commissioner Foley said to Seth Rollins, let's go in the back. We're going to have a chat. That chat seems to involve this main event that was named this week on WWE.com. Rusev versus Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins is going to have to pay the price... Um, for involving himself in that match, and that is a match against Rusev. The United States Championship will not be on the line. Uh, I, I, honestly, I do not understand why WWE will not learn um, that the United States and Intercontinental Championships, when they are not being defended and when the champion is wrestling in matches and the belt is not on the line, makes that belt worth a hot, steaming pile of crap. Um, we've seen this, you know, with uh, Kalisto, Alberto Del Rio, um, Rusev went through this one time. Um, you know, if your champion is your champion, make him put the belt on the line. It's not worth anything, um, you know, just to have the guy carry the belt down to the ring if he's not going to defend it. Um, it's going to make this United States Championship, which, you know, they've tried to make a big deal by having Roman Reigns go after it, having John Cena hold it twice, Seth Rollins held it um, during his co-championship. Um, you, know, you know, it just doesn't make sense. If Rusev and Rollins are going to have a match, the United States Championship should be on the line. Um, you know, just a year ago, um, Seth Rollins was holding this belt and he was caring about it. He should be caring about it here. And he be, should, should be telling Commissioner Foley that, you know, if he's going to wrestle Rusev, the title should be on the line. He should step up to the plate and make that stipulation. But, again, this is a match that uh, Foley has, has put in place to punish Seth Rollins. So, I guess that he doesn't get a title shot as well because my guess is that when Rusev wrestles Roman Reigns at Clash of Champions my guess is that even though this is the Clash of the Champions my guess is that the belt isn't going to be on the line in the first place so uh, it is what it is I don't know I, I mean I really thought they were going to do the four way it looks like they're going to do two singles matches when you, when you think about it Backlash the first uh, you know co-branded shows honestly to me it had some stuff on there that was fun. The people that watched it, I'm sure they had a good time. But to me, it just seemed like a show that wasn't worth me dedicating three hours of my Sunday. Um, and I just watched the main event. When it comes down to when I look at the matches that are being planned out for uh, this uh, Clash of the Champions, the Monday Night Raw pay-per-view, I'm feeling about the same way, you know? Um, Roman versus Rusev at SummerSlam it was what it was. Here we are, Kevin Owens versus Seth Rollins. That's going to be a fun match to see what goes down. I think that's the only match that I'm going to care about. So it's getting down to the point that even though I'm a WWE Network subscriber and even though I'm a huge wrestling fan, it's getting to the point where now it seems like I'm only going to be one of those guys that cares about WrestleMania, Royal Rumble, SummerSlam, and maybe Survivor Series. It's like I'm only going to care about those big five shows uh, that come along or maybe there's a Hell in the Cell match or something like that. It's almost like I'm not even a real wrestling fan anymore. I'm like those... 
uh, like fringe fans that you know Meltzer always talks about that they try to bring in by having these big shows uh, and so many pay per views because that's the things that, that people care about. Um, I, I'm a, I'm a fan of the brand split. I like the fact that a guy like Jack Swagger jumped last week, um, but it comes to a point where I think it hurts the the WWE brand and doesn't make SmackDown and Raw better. Um, I, a lot of guys are getting chances like like Jack Swagger, um, and a lot of guys are being used like their main eventers. Like, uh, well, Rusev has been used in that spot before, but there's a lot of guys getting chances, and there's a lot of guys that are, you would think with weaker rosters are, are would get a shot. That it, it seemed like they're still in the same spot that they were in before. So it, it, it's like the cream isn't really rising to the top. Um, I don't know. But uh, to me, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if this is a sort of a, a match that, you know, Roman Reigns and Kevin Owens would get involved in, just sort of build more hype, uh, where it basically breaks down into being a tag team match. Um, you know, maybe you open up the show with this, and because so much turmoil breaks out, they have to put everybody into the match, and it ends up being a tag match with uh, Roman and Seth, you know, reforming the shield on Raw, going up against Rusev and Kevin Owens. Um, you know, it, it'd be fun. Anytime you see Roman and Ambrose, or you see Rollins and Reigns, or, you know, any sort of the, that, that combination of those three guys, you're going to have flashbacks to how awesome the Shield was. So, um, I wouldn't be surprised that that's what's going to be going down. Um, we'll talk about the rest of Monday Night Raw here in a sec, but uh, I'm not looking for a whole bunch out of this match. Probably a disqualification. Um, Worst comes to worst, I guess Rollins beats Rusev, and Rusev takes his thousands loss of being a United States champion, and uh, it doesn't really matter in the long run. So we'll see what goes down Monday Night Raw, Monday night.